Hello and welcome to Simudan. Um, so today I'm going to be going uh, for a flight over the East Coastway line, uh, which I last showed you in Train Simulator World 2. Um, so we will be starting from Eastbourne, which is just below me here in Lions Court, and there's a station down there, looking nice and flat. And we'll follow the line along. Not sure how well this will go, but we'll give it a, give it a good shot. So I'm going to start straight off. Falling straight away. So, we'll follow this line around, see some landmarks along the way. Um, if uh, you haven't seen my last video where I showed you, well, I think it's two videos ago now actually, that I showed you um, the uh, this from the ground, uh, then, and if you're interested, then go and have a watch of that. Just going to fly straight along and point out some of the um, places along the way, just like I did in that video. So down below here, where you can see my mouse here, that is actually a miniature railway that goes around that um, lake or pond and golf course down there. Uh, this is Hamden Park Station, Sainsbury's on this side. And uh, just up ahead there, that is where the line splits and that way goes off to Ashford um, and Hastings. Calling out stall to me. There's absolutely no reason it should be stalling here. I'm not particularly being aggressive with it. And then we're going to be following this line up here through uh, Polgate uh, along that way. In fact, if you look down there, we go past, you can see it. It's actually a train. Um, where they've uh, taken the uh, image. Must have been a train at the time. Bit of a shame that we can't see it moving like we do the uh, road vehicles on this, but there you go, can't have it always. Can't think of absolutely everything. So here we are coming into Polgate. Now the line actually bends around in this direction here which, uh, if you recall from the other video, you end up with a smaller, uh, a, sl a much slower speed limit coming around there. I think this here is the old station. And in here is the car park and the new station there. And then we're out onto a nice open countryside for a while, going off toward Berwick. Now if we're lucky and it's actually been shown, we might see on the South Downs in this direction, the Long Man. In fact, I know Berwick Station to be over by that pond, so we will go for this direction and see if we can find the Long Man of Wilmington, which is uh, like a chalk carving on the side of the, uh, of the hills here. Um, I think believed to be Stone Age, I'm not sure. I don't like to uh, quote facts and uh, find they're not right, so, uh, you know, disclaimer there, I'm not always right. I just like to think I am, or at least so my wife would tell you. I'm not sure how far along we'd be looking, but I don't think it's all that far along. In fact, I think it would probably be on this hillside here somewhere. There. There. Just there. There's the long man. Not looking all that great on this. Uh, granted, I am about three, 3,000 feet up, but... I would have thought I'd have seen that a lot better. You can see it for a good distance away. 
so. Go back over this way, and we will find the railway line again. So that ahead of us is Arlington Reservoir, uh, which you might recall from my uh, flyover Hailsham video. Again, if uh, that's something you've not seen, then go check it out. Just saw it slightly um, in that video from a bit of a distance, but having a bit of a closer look now. So, just below me here, there is a level crossing here that goes across the railway, and on this side is the station, and this side is actually a pub. You can just about work out the station there, very, very faint. So, uh, surprisingly, you can actually see the railway line quite well from up here. Even though a lot of the railway infrastructure seems to be completely flat. Which is a bit of a shame. It's low now. I've noticed this with the simulator, actually. Occasionally you get these lines get drawn through the ground and what I think that might be is where um, two um, satellite images have been sewn together which yeah it's only just noticeable I don't know how well you can see that on the video but to me it's it's noticeable enough that I can I can see it and it but uh, not noticeable enough that it bothers me. Yeah. Uh, so here we go, coming across Blind Station now, just uh, just down here. And this hill over here, you get a lot of uh, paragliders and some pan gliders diving off that hill and having a good... I wish that thing would go away. Um, having a good fly around this area and I think they sometimes end up landing on sort of that side of the main road there it's the main A27 so there's Glyne Station down there don't know a lot about Glyne other than the hand gliders if I'm honest so here there's a bridge where the 27 goes across the railway goes underneath um, a while back that used to actually be just a level crossing there and it often got stuck down in queues on the road going back for miles. So here you go, coming up into Lewis now. So this line here, this goes off to Seaford and this line is obviously the one we're following. And it joins here to go up into Lewis. Now this is where I fear I might lose the line because it's quite busy. Ah, no I won't because the station is such a big property in this, in this area. Let's pause it a second. So, uh, in Lewis you have um, a brewery which is this complex here think. Nope, this this here would be the brewery. Not looking very brewery-like here. Oh, actually, it might be this bit. I'm trying to remember which side of the river it's on. I think it's this bit. Anyone from Lewis or locally that can tell me which side it's actually on, let me know. Um, so that's sort of really, at least in my opinion, one of the main landmarks of Lewis. And here is the station with the line going out into a tunnel here and out the other side somewhere over there look and that will eventually take you up to London and then this one which will follow takes you out into Brighton so, yeah. every time I do the live pause it likes to think that I'm uh, 
not going to be able to keep playing in the air anymore. And still playing for me. So over here is uh, that's HMP Lewis. So Her Majesty's Prison. Not somewhere you'd very much want to end up. I shouldn't have thought. Yara. Stall. There you go, and then the railway line here goes back over 27. So ahead of me, you can just about work out the Amex, we'll actually get a lot closer than this. So the railway line comes right up to it. It's the uh, Amex, Amex Football Stadium in Brighton. Uh, Brighton's account has five stations, I believe. Um, starting on this end, you've got Falmer, then Moorscombe, London Road, and then Brighton Station itself. And coming back out of Brighton, if you were going up toward London, you've also got Preston Park. And depending on whether you class Hove as part of Brighton, after all it is Brighton and Hove, you've also got Hove Station. And probably a few more if you count places like Port Slade. It's up to you what you count. Right, it's coming over Falmer here. So Falmer, other than having a football stadium, also hosts two universities. So you've got the University of Sussex, which is this massive complex here, and the University of Brighton here, which has more campuses further into Brighton. And below me, there you go, going over the Amex now. I'm not looking all that spectacular. I wonder if that's improved, uh, can be improved upon at all with a little bit of manual caching. Eventually. And then you've got the station, I think, there. I think that's found the station. Uh, carry on following this uh, track if I can. And here's another campus, I think, of the University of Brighton here, but it might be a little bit further up. A bit hard to tell, but somewhere along here is Moorskin Station. I reckon that's it there. So this is University of Brighton. In fact, I think a lot of this is. And that's, that is there as well. Now I'm over -speeding. Ah, now this is a shame. You haven't got the viaduct modelled here. But there's the viaduct that goes across here and there's London Road Station just this side. That's the viaduct. And there, this Brighton Station Main. And look up that way, somewhere up there is Preston Park Station as well, and there is Preston Park itself. Yeah, that. You can sort of work it out, there's supposed to be a viaduct up there, but it's a bit of a shame it's not. It's not modelled very well. Again, I want to try out a bit of manual caching, I've not had the patience to sit down and do it yet. At some point, I'll do that and I'll compare landmarks like this done manually and done over the internet 
and there is the uh, depot, I think Lovers, Lovers Lane depot. Use that. So there you have it, that is the East Coast way from the sky. So I am now on Discord, so um, if you would like to join me over there and have a bit of a chat, then please do. I will leave a link in the description below. And uh, uh, also, if you've enjoyed this video, then give it a like and consider subscribing for more flight simulator content, as well as train simulator, bus simulator, uh, Eurotruck simulator, and pretty much any other simulator you can think of. I'll give anything a go, as long as it's a simulator. See you next time.